I do listen to new stuff. I try to listen to, uh, you know, I just did a thing on Instagram where if you followed me, I'd follow you if you were a band. Uh, and so that's going to take me a while. A lot of people took me that's up on be it. a lot of work. It's a lot. Uh, so I am going to go through there and listen to them all. Um, it's going to take me probably a year. You know, I mean, it's, I, I, I mean, I, there have, it's so many, but um, yeah, I do. And I, I try to stay in touch with what's going on and, and I, I try to stay active in like uh, Facebook groups and things like that and chime in every once in a while and, and, you know, stay relevant and, and, you know, in people on people's minds, you know, I, a couple of things, you know, um, from your question, you know, um, you know, there's the whole, uh, you know, you want to be a mis- musician, don't. I, that comes from a place that really isn't always money. Um, you know, you have to understand what the sacrifices are. Of, and again, don't take this as, oh, poor guy, you have a bunch of hits and you, your wife is really pretty and your kids are awesome. You know what I mean? It's not like that. Um, the sacrifices that you make, you know, when we decided we were going to go for it, there's four of us. And then we had a crew guy that just like helped us load in and sold merch and stuff like that. And, you know, it's like, guys, we can't go home for like birthday parties or weddings or funerals and stuff anymore. Like if, if we all do that, then we're never going to be able to be on the road. So that's all gone, you know, and then you're on the road so much, you know, uh, all of your, you know, your relationships at home, you know, you don't really have the same friends anymore. And then you're, you know, you know, it's, I got a divorce and, you know, had to fight for custody of my kids and there. So there, you know, I didn't go to, um, you know, so many funerals and weddings, like I said earlier. So that sacrifice to the mental aspect of it all is pretty tough. Now, that being said, you know, when, when we started and up until, you know, mid two thousands, you know, I would, I would always say, you know, get in the van and go. I don't really think that that's the key anymore. Uh, because like I said, the world is small. Social media is really the new touring, you know, you, when, so now when a band says, man, we just want to get in the van and go on tour. I'm like, no, you don't, because nobody's going to come see you. Like when, you know, when in the, in the eighties and and nineties, people went to see bands for discovery. They would go to like a club and they'd pay $5 and see five bands and two of them they'd like. So they'd get the sticker, you know, and then they'd go see them again. And that's how you got to be popular. That doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't, I don't know one place where that is a thing where they don't expect you to bring people there instead of people coming there to see you. So the discovery now is social media and being super active and learning the ways of that. It sucks because it's not good enough to just write great songs, you know, but really it never was, you know, I mean, there's always been a lot of work to it. So my advice is don't go into it thinking, you know, I'm just going to be a great songwriter and people are going to catch on to it. It's a 24 hour a day job for me still. And I got a bunch of gold records on the wall, you know? Um, But, you know, it's, uh, it's also a very rewarding thing when something does work, you know, as far as, you know, people, be, have it being able to put smiles on people's faces fucking great you know yeah um, absolutely so and then very good advice sorry, long-winded the media thing yeah long-winded answer but as far as you like with money you have to understand i mean now you can go online and you can do you can get on facebook and do a show just for tips and make 50 bucks or something you can get on you know and that you just have to go to the street corner for that you know you can do shows on online you can market your band online you sell t-shirts online you know what i mean like it's it's and then i know that bands complain and complain and complain about the streaming revenue but you have to understand my band has was on jive records for 10 years we sold I mean, I don't know how many millions of records, but a couple million records, let's say worldwide. We never received a cent from the label, not once, ever. Never made a penny from music until streaming started. So you have to you have to think to yourself, it's not streaming. It's just that's just the new way to go up. And it's way easier than it is dealing with, you know, all the fucking bureaucracy and shit of labels and stuff. But you know, yeah. last bit of advice, and and this is me, and and I and I and then I'll go, and then I'm sorry, I keep cutting you off, but no, no, absolutely not. Other big thing is, don't think you're going to go spend ten thousand dollars on an EP and make all that back on streaming. Look, that was never a thing. We didn't ever go make 
make a, a, a an album back in the day and expect to make all that back by by just you know by playing sh- by by just selling music we had to go play shows we had to bust our ass we had to force people to buy them you know what I mean? it's not any different you go out and you make it and then you get people to stream that shit you autograph the cds and get people to pay you 20 bucks for them whatever it is you got to do it's the same hustle it's just different little sort of chess pieces 